The name of this video is Ira Krakow's Blender 2.49 Skybox Blender Game Engine Tutorial. Creating a great background is a huge help towards making your Blender game realistic. Unlike in Blender 3D, where you can create a world as a background, in the Blender game engine you need to use an actual textured mesh as your background. This mesh is called a skybox. Inside the skybox is a projection of a 360 degree environment. When the player, the camera, is inside this environment, the scene is rendered with the illusion of being inside a gigantic world. This tutorial shows you how to create such a skybox. It's based on the Build a Skybox tutorial at tutorialsforblender3d.com. We will also animate the camera inside the Blender game engine so that we can tour our imaginary skybox world. To start, we need to find images for both the sky above and the ground below. The images are found both on the tutorial page and on my page for this tutorial at my Blender 3D forum, forum.iracrackow.com. The sky is one of the sky images at www.tutorialsforblender3d.com. There's a textures page there. And these skies are especially designed to wrap around the insides of the cube, perpendicular to the ground. The ground texture is a wood JPEG image, one of the Blender.org Creative Commons wood textures. So start with the default cube. This is going to be our skybox. Switch to front view, numpad 1. We need to make sure that the face normals are facing inside the, before the Blender game engine renders the images from the inside of the skybox. The player is inside the skybox. The Blender game engine only shows textures perpendicular inside from the face normals. This is different from the Blender 3D texturing where the face normals need to face outside. With the cube selected, tab into edit mode. Press A to select all vertices. Press Control shift n to recalculate normals inside. Cut the cube in half. Make sure all the vertices are selected. Press the K key and select Knife Cut, Subdivide, at midpoints. Drag the knife from left to right across the cube and press Enter. Additional edges, cutting the cube in half, are created. Press the A key to deselect all the vertices. Box select, B key, the bottom four vertices. Then press the delete key, selecting the vertices to delete the bottom four vertices. Mark the edges as seams. To do this, go to edge select mode. Select the four edges on the side of the cube. Press Ctrl E and select mark seam. Now split the 3D view into a UV image editor window as well as a 3D window. Load the sky image into the UV slash image editor by selecting image open then navigating to the sky image file. In the 3D window, go to face select mode and select all the faces by pressing the A key. Make sure you're in front view by pressing numpad 1. Press the U key and press unwrap. Use the num minus and num plus keys to pan the UV image editor's window so the texture is applied. Go into textured mode. Scale the cube up so that the camera and the ground are inside of it. Press P to run the game engine. And press escape to get out of the game engine. Add a ground plane. Space add mesh plane. Scale it up so it includes the entire ground. Press F6 for the texture buttons. Select the first texture channel and choose image, load image, and select the texture image for the ground plane. Now add an icosphere. Space add mesh icosphere accepting the defaults. Press the edit buttons F9 then smooth the icosphere by pressing the set smooth buttons. Move it up in the Z direction so that we can fall realistically onto the ground. The ground plane serves as an obstacle. Press the logic buttons F4. Enable rigid body physics and make sure the actor button is pressed. This way the icosphere will be affected by the Blender game engine's bullet physics engine. Press P to start the game engine. Note that the ball falls to the ground, but it's elongated. This is due to the camera being in perspective mode. Press escape to stop the game engine. Press num5, numeric pad 5, to change to orthographic mode. And press the P key to start the game engine. Now the ball stays round and falls without distorting itself. I hope this gives you a start on building a skybox 
and having it look realistic in the Blender game engine. If you like this video, be sure to hit the YouTube subscribe button. You can also discuss this video and my other Blender videos at forum.iracrackow.com. Happy blendering!